everybody. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Rainbow Loom Jumbo Bucket from Michaels. So while I am opening this, I want to talk to you guys about the price point for this bucket. The price of this bucket is $14.99, but I got this when there was a 20% off everything sale. So I only paid 11 or 12 bucks for this. There's 8,000 rubber bands in this and it's $15. But if you were to buy, I think it's like 7,800 bands, it would be like $32, something like that. I don't know the exact pricing of it, but that's the gist of it. Basically, this bucket is half price. If you're looking for some cheap rubber bands that are still Rainbow Loom brand, I recommend getting this. Of course, $15 is quite a lot, but it does come with 8,000 bands and that's a lot of bands. Plus you're still saving basically $15, contrary to where if you would just buy a bunch of packs of bands, it would be over $32 for 8,000 bands. So the first thing I'm going to do is just show you guys all of the bands. I'm just going to pull them out of the bucket and then I will show you guys a little close-up video of all of them so that you can see what they look like. So when I first got these things out of the package, the packages, the individual packages themselves kind of smell weird, I guess. So that's something to keep in mind, but after you've used the bands a few times and you've had that package open, several times. They don't smell bad anymore, so I would recommend if that bothers you a lot, just open them and like stay away from them for a little while. Just let them air out for a few hours and then they should be perfectly fine. I honestly didn't have any issues with them. Like when I first got them, the smell was really bad, but then when I was actually making bracelets, I didn't notice them smelling bad as well as they kind of feel weird. They kind of have the same texture of like Wonder Loom bands. I don't remember if that's exactly what that was called, but the texture is kind of weird. They definitely don't feel or even I guess look like the regular Rainbow Loom bands, although they're still good quality and I still like them. I just probably, like, I'm just glad that these weren't, you know, $32 for all of this because they definitely are quality of half price Rainbow Loom bands, but they're still good. And then here is the package of the Jumbo Colored C-Clips. And then here I'm comparing the Jumbo Bucket Neon Bands and then just the regular Neon Yellow Bands from Rainbow Loom. I mean, they're both from Rainbow Loom, but the ones that have like the actual Rainbow Loom packaging tag on them. Here they are compared. They look pretty similar. The Rainbow Loom ones are just more of a jelly consistency. And then here are the neon green bands and then the neon green from the set. And here I am comparing the neon yellow regular bands to the neon yellow ones from the bucket. The neon yellow ones from the bucket stretched one pin more. That is something I will say about these bands is these bands are super, super stretchy. And then this is what the bands look like when they are glowing under blue LED lights. If they were under black lights, I'm sure they would do the same thing. So any sort of black light or blue LED light will give you this really nice glow effect on the yellow, the green, the orange, and the pink bands. The other bands don't really glow. The dotted bands kind of glow a little bit, but the other ones do not glow. So here you can see a bunch of the different bracelets that I have made using these bands and then you can see them glowing under the blue lights. Blue light pictures aren't the best just because phones usually aren't a huge fan of dark lighting. The regular just like not blue light pictures though are from my camera so that's why they should be pretty good quality. And I'm not gonna say the name of each bracelet and who created them because most of these bracelets are from Tutorials by A. So honestly, I think all these bracelets will either be from Tutorials by A, Claire's Wears, or they will just be like the Starbursts, Fishtails, Inverted Fishtails, Single Chains, where nobody really knows who invented those, I don't believe. I think it's just kind of everybody collectively 
made videos and tutorials for those designs when Rainbow Loom first came out. But my overall conclusion thoughts for these bands is I do recommend them. When I first got them and they felt weird and they smelt weird, I was like, uh, yeah, I kind of regret this. Should have just gotten some other like regular bands. But honestly, I really like them. If your goal is to get bands that glow, I mean, only four of the packs glow. But if your goal is to get bands that glow, I would recommend this bucket. Honestly, I, I would recommend this bucket. Just be aware that when you first get the bands and you first open the packages, they're gonna smell weird and they might feel weird at first. Like when I was taking the pictures and stuff of the bands in the previous clips, I was like, these bands kind of feel weird like they made my fingers feel weird but then when actually making the bracelets I didn't notice anything so yeah when you first buy these just be aware that you're probably not gonna like them at first but just use them anyways and then you'll like them or maybe you'll like them as soon as you get them or maybe you won't like them at all um but honestly I think they are pretty good so I do recommend these I'd probably give these a 7 out of 10 they're pretty good they're not great or the best uh, quality wise they're super stretchy I haven't had any of them break the colors are really nice so quality wise it's pretty decent but they definitely do just feel and look different than regular rainbow loom bands but I still like them so if you're thinking about getting this bucket probably get it you know if you are buying stuff from Michaels anyways and you see this 10th anniversary bucket probably just go ahead and get it if you want to get it But that is it for this video. If you have any questions, just ask me in the comments down below. Other than that, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.